Uh, this is the old familiar chair. You guys want to see a tour of my ultimate homestead milking setup. First, the stanchions. It's important with a stanchion to be able to get your animals to the right. If you're right-handed, you want to milk on the right side. So I have this squeeze bar that I built in that pulls them over to the right and it gives them a little bit of comfort with that squeeze. It just latches on here with a carabiner to, for storage. can come over here. We have a couple of rope halters. We're getting cows in three days. We'll have milk in four. So we're getting cows Thursday. We'll be milking Friday morning. We've got a little stool for the kids. While I milk on the right, I use a bucket because the stanchion is elevated. The traditional milking stool is not tall enough. We have a stainless steel bucket for milking into. This is a two gallons. We're gonna have a reservoir tank out here too because we're getting two dairy cows, two dairy cows. So we fill that up, put it in our stainless steel reservoir tank and milk some more if we need to. We have a couple of brushes. These are dog brushes, one for just combing them down. And then this is for helping them shed if they need some help with that. You saw me, oh, well, this is just an old timey. Grandpa used to use this to, you, hawk, hawks, I think. You could put these on the back, cow's back legs if they're not gonna stand still for you. These guys are experienced milkers. These guys are experienced milkers. So I don't think we're having a problem with that. Right here, I have my alfalfa in a bucket and my apple cider vinegar, critical. We put a scoop of alfalfa, it's just added protein here during the winter when they don't have so much greens. Chaff hay, which is fermented alfalfa and it's still on the stock, so that's really good stuff too. They're used to having that. We're gonna use that when they come. This is a, a rubber feed pan inside of a stand for their uh, eating, for their snack. You know, I don't really like, my cows don't necessarily have to have that to stand still, but it's added health. They're in milk. Let's give them some of this protein. If we need to do any uh, meds or anything like that, we could do it here. I like this stanchion, how simple it is. You saw me open it. This is just a two by four on a hinge. And once you shut it, it's locked. It automatically locks. They can't open that any further. But to open it, to let them out, you just lift that two by four up and they can get out. You can do it on both sides. That's my basics for the ultimate milk setup. Actually, you don't even need that. If you've got a calm cow, all you need is a bucket, a food grade bucket. You could go out there and milk them. Maybe you need a leash time to a tree. I've done that before with my cows. If you guys are interested in these parts, plus milking supplies, plus a natural medical kit. I'm gonna leave, guys, we've put together a checklist for you. We've put together a checklist for ourselves since we're getting ready. I'm gonna give it to you guys. It's down in the description. Now, to deal with all this snow, first up, getting get in dressed. It's quite the feat. You ready to go? Hey, y'all play with Gideon. Do you want to go inside or not? Yes, I do. But I don't want to go to in the mall. Okay, they're going to go inside too. You're going to go put them by the fire. You understand? I don't want to stay in my but I want, I want to go out wide. You want to go outside? Yeah, and I want to go with you. Okay, well, let's put on our shoes. You want mama. 
Mama's not gonna be able to help because she's doing her therapies. Come on, you can come with me. Uh, you can ride the wheelbarrow. Uh, I know for the elder what I did over here. No, nobody's gonna even know. Alright, come on. You gotta be mature. Come on, wait, wait. No, he won't. Why? Because he's over there playing. We're gonna be over here on this side. Alright, let's go. The cows are no. The cows are coming Friday. Well, I mean Thursday. They're coming Thursday. It's Monday. We got to keep going, whether it's snow, or, snow or not. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Come on, <laughs> Mr. Brown. You want to stay here and play or go with me? He's playing so nice. Hey, don't interrupt it. Hey, you want to stay here and play or go with me? That's ownership right there. That's ownership. I didn't even ask you guys. Thank you. Okay, Brown. You ready? You gonna go with me? Okay, we'll see how this goes. Look who's here. Good to get out, beauty. You're just in time to get this shot of me lugging this wheelbarrow. Oh, good. This is very, this is very tempting for me to get a full one at this point. I think we should. Wait. Because I was thinking we should get one that has a snow plow on the front and we can just plow our own road. I like it. We'll not wait for people. Because the state will take forever. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out here. I was like, because it's going to rain, i got to get out here. Hopefully there's a car track. I think so. I think so. There was a car that drove down last night. Let's see if this will do it. Okay, good. We would be pulling your trailer right now. I'd take two hay bales out here. Just fed them. They're doing happy. They, they love this. Besides the fact they don't like to graze in the snow. I read online that people, um, you're to be concerned in the summer months because that's when it's harder to keep them cool. They love this because their hide, their leather hide keeps them all their body temperature in. Yeah, they don't seem bothered so in the least. They're not bothered. They don't like to graze underneath the snow, but no. we spoil them with hay. Wow. Well, Gosh, it's so pretty. It really is. It's Can't get a bad shot. to come out. workout this morning should I shovel or should I go try to broad fork why don't you shovel our car out all right they got the shovel hey do we have more shovels all I could find was this I guess the kids have the flat shovels I'm gonna start with the stairs I need to do about a 30 minute workout that should do it Workout's over. You would do that. You would. And I got the camera. <laughs> oh, she got me in the kidney. Oh, that's Jeff. Jeff. Hey, two against one. That was weak. Oh, she's nailing me. She got a surprisingly good aim. Oh. I like to catch up. 
All right, let's go in. Peace, peace. I hear bulletproof coffee calling my name. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 